Hello and welcome to Shaha Computer. This is the fifth part of this tutorial series on automated deep roster in Google Sheet. In this tutorial, we will start learning about the Google Apps script to auto hide the rows that do not have any employee name and also auto hide the columns that do not have any date. In the previous videos, I have shown the demo of this template and we also learned about the setting sheet and the master sheet. If you have not seen those videos, the link is provided below in the description box. If you want to support me, you can purchase this template. The link is given below. So without wasting any more time, let's begin this tutorial. So first go to extension, then app script. Now here we'll use this code. So this is a function on edit. So whenever we will edit the sheet, it will work. So first variable is edit range. That is E dot range. That means the edited range. That is our edited range will be this cell, this cell or this cell. Whenever we add here or if we change the month, then the code will run. If we change this cell then this will hide or unhide and if i change in this column then hide or unhide the rows so let's see so this is the edited range and this is edited sheet edited range dot get sheet edited cell equal to e dot range dot get a1 notation that is we'll get the name of the edited cell then edited row equal to edited range dot get row will get the row number of the cell and for edited column will get the row column number of the edited range if edited column equal to 2 that is this one this one is column 2 if the edited column is 2 then sorry again we have another logic edited row is greater than 8 that is column should be 2 and a row should be greater than 8. So it should be column number 2 or a row should be 8 or greater than 8. Let's see, greater than equal to 8. And edited row must be less than 107. Less than equal to 107. So this is 107. So if we edit here, it will not work. It will work up to this cell. So what will happen if this logic is true? edited sheet dot hide rows 8 to 100 that is from row number 8 to 100 rows total number of rows will be 100 that means up to 107 this will get hidden then variable t row that is total number of row so total number of row in column b edited sheet dot get range h4 dot get a value so total number row is given in cell h4 so let's go to a h4 so this is a h4 here we'll count the total number of employees so here we'll type equal to count a and we will count from 8 to 107 so we have 10 employees. Now we will count the total number of dates. So equal to count bracket close, select all the date here, then bracket close and enter. So we have 29. So go to here and edited sheet dot show rows 8 to total number of rows that is from row number 8 to Total row is 10, 10 row plus 1, 11 row. So from 8 to 11 row up to this. This is total 11 row. This will be shown and rest is hidden. Then adjust cell equal to edited sheet dot gate range edited row. So our edited row is this one comma edit column plus 1. So we are getting the adjust cell is equal to adjust cell means adjacent cell. That is, suppose we are entering an employee here, employee 11, that if there is any value, this should be cleared. 
so it is done here in this way we are getting the adjacent cell that is edited row plus edited column plus one and that cell adjacent cell dot clear content edited seat set active range equal to adjacent cell after that the next cell that is this cell will be activated when you enter this one this cell will get activated and if this is false then it will check this logic if edited cell is a w2 so w2 is this one this one is w2 if this cell is edited then hide column 5 so this is 5 to 31 column so up to 31 means up to this column it will get hidden you can see here if i count here it is 31 cell so this will get hidden and after that total column in ai4 so total column in ai4 is 29 so this 29 will get unhidden so you can see here edited sheet dot show column 5 to total column from 5 row number column number 5 to total number of column will get unhidden so this is the function with the help of which whenever we will enter uh, employee then this cell from this cell to this cell will get unhidden and the rest will get hidden and if we change the month then if these cells are blank dead cells are blank then that column will get hidden now let's check if i enter here employee 11 so it's not working so let's check here save this okay now change it here 12 then also it is not working let's see where is the problem okay mm. debug okay. stop again run it 13 you can see all is hidden only one cell is unhidden now if i change here to january it's okay now you can see here now if i change it to february you can see this two column get hidden it's showing up to 29 so here we have not colored this one if you want to color these cells also you can do it if you want alternate row color i have already have a video how to create the alternating row color you can also do that so in this way you can create an automatic monthly d2 roster for your employees so this is the end of this series and i hope you have understood the complete tutorial well but if you encounter any issues feel free to reach out to me in the comment section i will be sure to assist you if you found this tutorial helpful please consider hitting the like and subscribe button don't forget to share this video with others who might get benefited from it. Thank you for watching until the end and I look forward seeing you next tutorial.